What's going on guys, Noonie here coming at you with another video and today we are going to talk about free for all and how to get better free for all tips and tricks on how to get DEA bombs that way you can be a beast in free for all but before we get into video I just want to thank TSG for putting me on this community channel because it really helps the smaller YouTubers especially like me I only have about 20 subs so big thank you to him for putting me on this channel and helping me grow my channel and helping the Call of Duty community grow and become a good community again without further ado let's get right into the video so if you're new to the channel please subscribe that'd be greatly appreciated can we get 10 likes that will also be greatly appreciated comment down below if this video has helped you share this video with all your friends without further ado let's get into the tips and tricks so the biggest thing you need to know in free for all is spawns. Spawns is probably the biggest thing in free for all. It is like the most important thing you have to know because free for all spawns are not like domination spawns and TDM spawns. Free for all spawns are like sporadic. They can spawn anywhere on the map and it's just really, really crazy. So the way you know spawns is like this. You have two type of spawns. You have their revenge spawns and just normal spawns. So revenge spawns are basically when you kill somebody, they spawn extremely, extremely close to you. And what this does, you're most likely one shot in the gunfight so they can just hop out and kill you. That's a revenge spawn. When they spawn extremely close to you right after a gunfight and they can just kill you really fast because you're one shot, which really sucks. And then you have normal spawns. Normal spawns is when you would kill somebody and then they just spawn, you know, maybe back map, back right corner of the map, so you don't have to worry about them. But you do get a lot of revenge spawns in free fall, and that's what sucks. So you have to understand that when you kill somebody, expect that he's gonna be spawning really really close to you so always be on high alert expect those but because you're not gonna get a lot of normal spawns so expect a lot of revenge spawns and the more you play free for all you'll start to understand these spawns and what I mean by revenge spawn and normal spawn because the more you'll play you'll understand how people are just like coming at you constantly and you'll start to notice and know where spawns are gonna be and that just comes with a lot of practice and a lot of time put into the game and free for all Tip number two, or the second tip, is positioning and how to play free for all. So you're probably asking yourself, should I just run around the map like a headless chicken and try to get kills, or should I hold down an area of the map and just stay there? My advice and best advice that I can give you is to hold down the part of the map. As you can see in this gameplay, in terminal, I'm holding down the back of the map and just not really camping but moving around, switching positions, but I'm not running around like a headless chicken. The reason being, as I told you, there are revenge spawns. So when you kill somebody, they usually spawn really close to you. So when you're running around the map and you don't know where the spawn is, they can spawn right behind you and kill you. So you want to be holding down a part of the map and just picking people off and getting your score streaks that way. Because when you run around like a headless chicken, you're not going to know where spawns are. They're very sporadic and random, and you're probably just going to get killed. So it's best to just hold down a part of the map and get your score streaks and you just get killed. So please, please, please do not run around like a headless chicken. Find a spot on map that suits you best and sit there and just get kills. Because that's how you play free fall. So that way you don't get killed by revenge funds. And that way you can get your streaks and maybe the atomizer strike. And when I say hold down a position, I do not mean camping. I mean move around in a a certain area of the map and keep moving around and get killed do not just sit in a corner or on a head glitch because you'll die just find an area of the map and just get kills and keep moving around in that area of the map tip number three is going to be what score streaks to run in free for all now i'm going to give you three set of score streaks that can really really help you win free for all now the first set of score streaks is the uav warden and apex this score streak setup is meant to get you a lot of kills and just to end games of free fall really fast. So when you get your UAV, you call in your UAV and try to get as many kills as possible while that is up. Now when the UAV is done, you should have your Warden by then. Now save your Warden and get your Apex. Now when you get your Apex and Warden, you call them both in. You call in your Warden and then you call in your Apex. And this allows you to get a lot, a lot of kills in a short amount of time. This also allows you to end the free fall game really 
really fast if you're looking for a lot of wins. So if you want to get a lot of kills and a lot of wins, I recommend this score streak setup. Score streak setup number two. This is the the atomizer strike. Uh, score streak setup. This is personally what I use when I go for the animal strikes in free fall or TDM. And this is the UAV, counter UAV, and advanced UAV. UAV and advanced UAV are basically the same. Advanced UAV is like the big brother of the UAV, and the counter UAV it just disables the HUD so they cannot see you. So this score streak setup is really good if you're going for the animizer strike. And then the last score streak setup is the UAV, Sock Sentry, and Warden. Now this setup is like basically the bread and butter setup that I love love to use the reason being I use the shock century to basically put it down where I'm basically kind of camping as you guys like to call it or holding a position in free for all so I get the shock century put it down make it watch one area while I just watch the other area so the shock century always has my back and I call in my warden to let it get all the kills around the map and I that way I can get like 30 and 3 in game plays 30 and 2 game plays so I recommend this course setup if you really really want to get good gameplays in free fall which is the UAV sock century and warden my final tip which I'm going to give you is going to be a class setup and a specialist that I run in free fall so the class setup is the NV4 with crook draw right foot barreled and stock and a perk one blast shield ghost no perk two and then a perk three dead silence and the specialist is combat focus with the ping attribute or trait the reason i use the combat focus so i can get my score sheet faster and the reason i use the ping attribute is because when i kill somebody it makes it makes a little ping on their death and it shows me any enemies around them so i can get an easy two piece and then I use the NV4 because it's really good at holding down a position or area of the map because it's very easy to map people at long range and if you hit your shots at close range you can also melt them so that's why I really really love using the NV4 I can kill people at long range and also kill people at short range so I recommend using that class setup and I also recommend using the score sheet setup for UAV, sentry gun and warden and also combat focus with the ping attribute that has been all the tips for this video. If you want to follow me on my social medias, it will be on the screen right now and the link in the description. And if you were wondering, the first gameplay that you saw on Terminal, I went 30-3 and with a 10 KD. And this gameplay, I joined late. I was down 17 kills, but I made a comeback. I went 30-5 and and just made a really, really good comeback. But can we get 10 likes on this video? That'd be greatly appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Comment down below if any of my tips have helped you and you've gotten better at free fall. But without further ado, I'm gonna let the game play right now and peace.